Sunday the 28th of October. I'm back here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium just to see what's new and what's different and see what the builders have been up to in the past seven days and also talk about Tottenham's announcement that they put out on Friday saying that we will spend the rest of 2018 at Wembley Stadium. So when will we play our first game here at the new ground? So Sunday afternoon, quite a few workers here working on the ticket office. And I hate to say it, so early on in this video, but the paving is going down. More paving, it's been about the paving, uh, all about the paving in the last couple of weeks, and it's no different. So all of the paving is going down right outside the ticket office here. You can see they've actually done a lot of brickwork in the last seven days as well. It was last Sunday, the last time I was here. So the brickwork has also continued on this near side. Quite a few courses laid in the, in the past seven days. It's really funny actually, four builders just stopped me and said, where have you been? You haven't been here for a long time. It's funny actually, a lot of the builders um, actually watch these videos and uh, some of them like to be in them as well. So obviously you've got um, Lily White House on the left here and a lot of the grey panelling started here at the North Stand many, many months ago but you will see that the panelling has continued in the past seven days towards the, the West Stand they have done a lot you can see on the right hand side it is being worked on as I film this so I'm going to walk along the high road now and uh, take a closer look So you can see exactly what I mean about the panelling here. Very different to last week's video. So as most of you will be aware, the club put out an announcement Friday evening confirming that we will play all of our home games for the remainder of 2018 at Wembley Stadium. Naturally, everybody is disappointed. We all wanted to get in here as soon as possible. We all thought that it would just be that one game, that one home game against Fulham in, back in August and then we would be in here against Liverpool on the 15th of September. Um, due to many safety issues at the club, of course it hasn't been possible, but we all just need to, uh, you know, just remain positive really and uh, just look forward to actually getting in here sometime in 2019, whatever game it is. I personally don't care who we play for the first game here, I just cannot wait to step foot inside and cheer on the team. You can see on the left hand side, that's where I've just come from. That will be the new ticket office. You can see how big that building is actually. Now, that won't only be a ticket office, it will also be another club shop. So let's talk about panels. Look how many panels they've put in here. Not to mention all of the framework that they've put in as well. They have been very, very busy at the front of this stadium or the West End.
Now, just walking down the high road even further, you'll notice on the right-hand side is the new club shop. New club shop actually opened uh, last week on Tuesday morning. I did wonder about the old club shop, the smaller one. It is actually closed today. It is mid-afternoon. Whilst walking down the high road, I've noticed a lot of fans with bags who have, uh, who have been in the new club shop. So just going to pass there in a minute. So here it is, the new club shop. Open Tuesday morning. They actually had uh, Aussie Ardiles and Ledley King here yesterday signing autographs and posing uh, for photographs with uh, Tottenham fans. So you can see now that the access has actually changed, walking down the high road uh, on the junction of Park Lane. All of these barrier covers have gone in. and new signs as well. So just walking towards the shop now. I've noticed as well that the Tottenham experience have also now got a, uh, a sign on that as well, on Warmington House. So you can see here that um, this is a set of stairs that will lead up to the stadium. Now I didn't actually film in the club shop, I have got a number of photos um, to show you um, in a few minutes time. but. Did this place live up to the expectation? Um, absolutely, um, absolutely incredible. Um, the place is absolutely huge. You don't call the uh, the shop Europe's biggest club shop for nothing. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, the range of stuff that they have got in this club shop is just absolutely um, amazing. Um, if you want a hat, they've got about 50 different types. They've got um, different types of scarves in there. They've got different products in there that I've never seen uh, Tottenham sell before. Um, but the the range is fantastic. The um, amount of stock is absolutely fantastic as well. Um, and I'm really glad that I actually visited here today. Um, so many fans in there. So many fans um, seem excited um, to be visiting here. Um, and really, really funny. I actually said to um, the the attendant who was um, yeah, I bought a few things in there. And I actually said, um, I love the uh, the smell at the moment because everything is just brand new and you can smell the brand new paint. You can smell everything that is brand new at the moment. I just wonder how long that will last. Um, but the, the finishing, um, the building work, everything about it um, is top class, is absolutely top class. If this is something, well, if the stadium is anything like this, um, it will be amazing. And I just cannot wait to get in there and hopefully it won't be long. So. Um, if you haven't bopped down to the shop yet, I suggest you do give it um, give it a look, and uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed.
So I hope you enjoyed looking at the photos of the new club shop. Um, I didn't do a video in there because uh, they're actually playing a lot of uh, current music and it would cause all sorts of uh, copyright reasons if I put it in the video. And plus, um, I've also done a couple of video videos um, on the club shop in the past couple of days. So if you haven't seen them and want to see a little bit more detail about the club shop, then have a look at those few videos. So just walking down Park Lane now to have a look at the sale stand here. So it's Sunday afternoon. It is very quiet here on this side. going back to uh, the club announcement on Friday saying about we've got to play at Wembley until the end of this year uh, which includes the Wolves game on the 29th of December it is very disappointing and uh, on social media I do try to remain as positive as I can I think some people are taking that the wrong way um, if there's anyone disappointed about us still playing at Wembley is me and uh, if that's come across differently then uh, I apologise but um, I cannot wait to get in this stadium and uh, I cannot wait to be back home. I've visited here every week since White Hart Lane was demolished and every time I, I, I visit here I just want to go into the stadium and certainly want to watch a game um, here as well and can't, can't wait for that. And personally, um, I've had enough at Wembley. And not only that, it's so unpredictable. Even Daniel Levy and uh, Pochettino were confident. They used the word confident of us playing here at the end of 2018. So we were all guessing a lot of the builders were guessing and a lot of the information that, that I had from, uh, from staff that work here. It was all um, predicted that we would play Burnley here. Which I've no doubt everyone will predict now that we will play Manchester United in January. But I'm done with predictions. It happens when it happens. We've just got to try and get the results at Wembley Stadium and of course all the other um, away matches because even though we're playing at Wembley there's still away matches. So the anticipation will build even more and the excitement of getting in here should build as well. So when we do actually get in here 62,000 Spurs fans will sing their hearts out and hopefully we will get the three points regardless of the opponent. Now I'm just walking back towards the high road. Unfortunately I can't get access to the east stand today as normal. But I would like to just say um, what a terrible day uh, for football it was yesterday. Um, all of our thoughts are with uh, Glenn Hoddle and his family at the moment and uh, we wish Glenn a speedy recovery. Um, also the dreadful news at Leicester City Football Club regarding their owner um, with the incident with the helicopter yesterday. Now when I stand here and look down the high road, as a young boy, I never ever thought that we would have anything like this. It looks incredible, and as I said earlier, whoever we play for the first game here at the new stadium, uh, I almost feel sorry for them because I know that every Spurs fan will get behind the team. Everyone will be singing. 
everybody will be so excited about getting in here for the first time. It will be an incredible occasion. And when I spoke about White Hart Lane being demolished and, and me being here watching um, the demolition of the, the South Stand and the South Stand in later weeks, that was here. May 17. So it's just walking down Worcester Avenue now. So this is the east stand at the moment. Now, I've been asked a number of times what are these posts I've just been told that these are actually uh, going to be a water feature there's all the wiring all the pumps for it and there's also going to be one on the other corner as well the uh, the southeast corner This where I'm filming, we are on the uh, the north the northeast corner at the moment. Sorry, I can't get my words out. It's so cold here. So if that is a water feature, this will be right next door to where the away fans will go in. Now, a lot of the staff are going home at the moment. A lot of staff are leaving for the day. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and let's hope that we get three points tomorrow at Wembley against Manchester City. Come on you Spurs.